Welcome back to Ninjas in Nature, and today we're going to talk about how to make a burn spoon. Well, we got Mr. Hand, my right hand man here, who's got a stick that he's going to use, it looks like. For wood, you're going to want to get something that's already dried or dead, but not rotten. Green wood is going to be really hard to burn. And it looks like he's got his knife, and it seems like he's going to be carving a flat spot where he can put a coal onto this piece of wood. And it looks like he's got a couple sticks. These are going to be for tending the fire and for grabbing coals out of the fire. And it looks like he's flattening out the end of the sticks, kind of like a spatula. This will help you get the coals more easily out of the fire. Now it looks like he's getting a hot coal from out of the fire with his fire tongs. And he's carefully placing it onto his piece of wood that he's going to burn. And it looks like he has another stick to put on top of his coal to keep it from falling off his piece of wood. Oh yes, don't forget safety. Looks like he's got some safety goggles to keep his eyes safe from any sparks. The trick for making a burn spoon is to carefully blow onto the coal, trying to blow at the base of the coal where it meets your piece of wood that you want to burn. Eventually, your piece of wood is going to start to burn under the coal. You want to try to avoid having a flame up here because this will burn your wood way too fast. You need to burn it slow and in control. If you get a flame, just do a quick puff of air to blow it out. If your coal goes out, simply return it to the fire and get another coal. And continue burning your spoon. Eventually, the wood under the coal may create its own coal. If this happens, you can get rid of your coal and just blow right directly onto your burn spoon. One way to speed up the process is to occasionally stop burning and scrape out all of the charcoal from your spoon. Then, repeat the process, get another coal and start burning again. Continue this process of burning and scraping until you get the depth of your spoon the way you like it. How deep you go is up to you. When you finish burning your hole into the wood, it's time to carve and shape your spoon. Your knife will come in handy for this. If you have a rasp, you can use that as well. To finish your spoon and make it nice and smooth, it helps to use sandpaper. You can also oil and burnish your spoon, like we mentioned in our woodworking videos. There you go. Go make your spoon.